Okay. Uh, in the last class, we were discussing about uh, AC circuits. Right, AC circuits, especially uh, <clears throat> the basics of AC circuits. What we said is all the network theorems we uh, studied in DC holds good for uh, AC also. So, like source transformation technique, Northern theorem, Thevenin's theorem, superposition theorem. All these kinds of uh, the theorems holds good for AC. Uh, there is one more uh, uh, difference is MPPT, the maximum power transfer theorem. <clears throat> maximum power transfer theorem. In maximum power transfer theorem. Source and load. Okay. <clears throat> VS and uh, RS plus RL. RS plus JXS. RL plus JXL. This is what your load is. Okay, so what all you will have is uh, the load is uh, actually the load is the variable load. Okay, you can have RL plus JXL, which is equal to ZL. ZL is my load. Okay, VA source. RS plus JXS is, is my internal resistance of this or internal impedance of source ZS. Okay. In this, uh, actually, there are there is a derivation to do that. I don't think derivation is important, but uh, the concepts are important. Like, uh, what are the condition for uh, if uh, uh, both the resistance and uh, reactance are variable? Okay, and similarly, when only a resistance is variable. Okay, these kinds of concepts are important rather than uh, uh, what you call the derivations. Okay. Okay. So, uh, condition for maximum power transfer is you can do it the similar way we did it in uh, what you call <clears throat> DC circuits. Condition for maximum power transfer is. Transfer uh, RL plus JXL, which is load impedance, which is nothing but your load impedance is variable, is variable, then ZL is equal to Z Thevenin or Z source conjugate is the condition for maximum power transfer. Okay condition for maximum power transfer. Okay, only uh, what is ZS and ZL? See, ZL is nothing but your RL plus JXL, ZS. ZS is nothing but RS plus JXS. So ZL is equal to ZS in the sense uh, Z, ZL must be equal to RS minus JXS. This is what you mean by conjugate. Okay. This is what you mean by conjugate. If only RL is variable, if only RL is variable, what happens? 
what is the condition if only rl is variable if only rl is variable okay if only rl is variable then then the condition is rl is equal to mod zs rl is equal to mod zs Well, actually, okay. uh, uh, um, why it is shown as uh, RL variable, uh, actually, I didn't uh, clearly got that point. Okay, see, the, the load is having two components, right? You have RL and Excel. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is a condition that only RL is variable, only Excel is variable, both are variable. There can be conditions like only RL is variable, only Excel is variable, as well as both RL and Excel variable. Okay. Right? Both RL and Excel variable in the sense ZL is variable. Right? Oh, okay. So if both RL and uh, Excel are variable, that is both uh, ZL is variable, then it is equal to ZL is equal to ZS conjugate. Okay, there is a derivation. It's a very small derivation. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, if only RL is variable, then RL is equal to mod X ZS is the uh, thing. And only Excel is variable. Only is then Excel equal to minus X minus XS. Okay. I think uh, voice is breaking. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. No, I'm audible. Audible now. Ah, uh, right now I have heard it. Yeah. If if only RL, if load is having only RL. Okay. If load is only RL, RL load. That means Excel is zero. What happens? Obviously, directly you can write it this way. RL is equal to RS. Okay. RL on, load is having only RL. RL equal to, sorry, RL is equal to RS. Same. Uh, yes, only RL, then RL is equal to RS. Okay. Same, it will be mod ZS. With Excel as zero, it is same as RL equal to mod ZS. Okay. These are the formulas you have to just remember. Okay. These are the conditions for maximum power transfer theorem in case of AC power. Okay, case of AC power. So, in case of DC, what is the condition for maximum power transfer? In case of DC, so RL is equal to RS, right? RL is equal to RS or RL is equal to R thymian. Okay. Here it is ZL is equal to Z thevenin or ZS conjugate. Okay, conjugate of it. In the figure, in the figure Z1 is given, Z2 is given, Z3 is given. Thevenin's impedance as seen. It's the same, same, but you need to have what you call DC, uh, sorry. Complex numbers, solving complex numbers. This involves solving of complex numbers. 10 at an angle minus 60, 10 at an angle 60. These two will be in parallel and ends in series with Z3. Okay. 
it it, it needs some calculations. I don't think that's important now. I'm just giving you the uh, what you call the concept oriented questions like this one. See this two AC sources feed a common variable resistive load as shown in the figure. Under the maximum power transfer condition, the power absorbed by the load resistor RL is dash. Uh, so the power sorry. absorbed by the uh, I am not able to see uh, see the slide. Oh, acha. Just check. I think this sharing is on. Should be able to see it. Then is it not visible? Yes, right now it's visible. Okay, see this one. Two AC sources feed a common variable resistive load as shown in the figure. Under maximum power transfer condition, the power absorbed by the load resistor RL is dash. Okay, you have to find the power absorbed by the load resistance RL. Okay, how to do this? See, you uh, have to find Z Thevenin or you have to find the Thevenin's equivalent, V Thevenin and Z Thevenin here, right? Let me do this for you. So, V Thevenin, how to find V Thevenin? Use superposition theorem, short this. I need the voltage here. Open this and short this. So, 6 plus J8 and 6 plus J8, both are equal impedances. So, equal impedances share voltage equally. So V seven and from this side is fifty five at an angle zero. Okay, from the other side V seven and dash. This is V seven and dash. The other side V seven and double dash is ninety. So this will be forty five at an angle zero. Okay, so equally the equal uh, the impedances share voltage equally. So total voltage is fifty five plus forty five. Okay, so it is 110 volts at an angle zero. Uh, it's uh, 100. What happened? It's 100. Which one? This one? Yes, yes. Uh, the final, final answer. Okay, the final one is like something like this. See how to convert this into polar form. Sorry, rectangular form. This is polar form, right? So this is like R at an angle theta. I need A plus J B. What is A? R cos theta. What is R? Cos 0 is 1. So 55 plus J is 0. Sin, th sin 0 is 0. Plus 45 plus J is 0. So this is 110 plus J is 0. So 110 plus J0, again I have to convert it into R at an angle 0, uh, sorry, theta. It will be 110 at an angle 0. Uh, okay. Actually, actually uh, I was telling that uh, uh, 100. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Okay, correct, correct, correct. 45 plus 55 is 100. Okay, anyhow. Okay, V theorem is 100 at an angle, <coughs> 0. So, okay, uh, uh, even if huh? uh, even if you are having the same face angle, we can, uh, can directly add it? Yes, yes. Uh, same angle? No, no, you can't directly add them. Uh, like this, you have to convert it, right? You have to convert it and then only you can do it. This one because the angles are zero, I directly did it. Then Z seven n seven n six plus J eight parallel with six plus J eight. Z seven n is equal to okay. Directly half two equal impedances connected in parallel is half. Okay, have to find seven. What should I do? I should. <coughs> Short these two. 
her voice is breaking her. Hello. Yes, I'm unable to hear you properly. Is this clear, Jet Terminal? C plus J4. See, to find Jet Terminal, I have to uh, see from these terminals and short these. Hello. Yes. Are you able to hear me? Uh, so your voice is breaking actually here and there. Uh, I think today I'm having a lot of network issues. I don't know why. Am I audible now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I when I can hear something, then it's uh, really audible. But uh, at times. Uh, a lot of things are missing, I think. Okay. Uh, one more time. Okay. See this. Uh, now is it clear? Z7N is 3 plus J4. V7N is 100 at an angle 0. Right? So what is RL or ZL is equal to Z7N conjugate or RL is is directly 3 plus j4 modulus of 3 plus j4 is 5 rl is 5 ohms so i know v7 and 100 rl 5 what is maximum power p max is p max is hello 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 ah am i audible now yeah it's audible it's audible thank you Okay, see, this is how it is. See, this is my 100 at an angle 0. I have 3 plus J4 and a 5 ohm resistor. Okay, so I need to find the current, or yeah, I need to find the current. I is equal to 100 by 8 plus J4. Okay, I square R is my uh, power, maximum power. P max is I square R. So 100 square by 8 plus J4 square into 5. This is what you'll get the maximum power as. Okay. A plus J4 modulus of A plus J4 is you can find it. H square plus 4 square under root and then you can find the value of maximum power. Okay. 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 Next. In the circuit shown the source voltage Vs is 100 at an angle 53.13. Then the Thevenin's equivalent voltage as seen by the load resistance RL is dash. Try to do this. It's an important question, direct one anyway. I'll try to solve this. The circuit shown below the source voltage Vs. Vs is given as 100 at angle 53.13. Then the Thevenin's equivalent voltage in volts as seen by the load resistance. So you need the voltage here as seen by this load resistance. These are all dependent voltage sources. This is a current dependent voltage source and this is a voltage dependent voltage source. So this value is 100 at an angle 53.13. See, so I need to open this resistor and find the voltage across this that is V terminal, right? So if I open it, I2 is 0. Open it, I2 is 0, right? So if I2 is 0, what is the value of this? This is 0. 0 volts is a short circuit. 
okay and the circuit will become something like this okay and no current flows here whatever the voltage is here 10 v l1 will be my v terminal okay and what is v l1 v l1 is the voltage across this j4 300 at an angle 53.13 <coughs> Okay, so 100 and this this is my voltage. So I need VL1. So the uh, impedance, total impedance is 5 ohms. 3 plus J4 is 5. Z is 5. Okay, if this is 500 by 5 is 20. 20 at an angle. Uh, okay, 20 at an angle 53.13. Okay, or I can directly have it J into use just use the voltage division rule, uh, you'll get the answer. Actually, uh, the current mm. the current value. I think three plus J four gives a magnitude of five and the phase angle of tan inverse four oh by... yes 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 it's not 20 at an angle 53 point it's 20 at an angle is different here yeah. correct or rather i can directly find the value of voltage okay <clears throat> vl1 is 100 at an angle 53.13 into j4 by 3 plus j4 to find this now to find this Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what is tan inverse 4 by 3. Uh... So this is 53.13. Uh, cos, cos of 53.13 is 0 0.6. So this is 60 plus J80 into J4 by 3 plus J4. Okay. So this will be something like this. Ah, uh, 20 times, 20 times. Huh? Uh, denominator is 20 times, I mean, uh, numerator is actually 20 times the denominator. Yes, numerator is actually 20 times the denominator, right? So this is 3 plus J4, 60 plus J80, so 20. Plus J20, sorry, 3, yes, 20 plus J20 into J4 is 80 plus J80, sorry, J80 minus J80. Uh, I think uh, if, uh, if we need to multiply 20, I think. So this is J80 minus J80. Right? Sorry, minus 80. Uh, like, uh, uh, huh? Yes. What happened? Just multiplying 3 plus J4 by mm -hmm. 20. I think that's in, uh, in the numerator. So 20 J4 will be the answer for this. Uh... No. See, the answer is this is 20 plus J20 into J4. Okay, okay. The total is 20. Right, right. I'm sorry. Yes, 20 J4 is the answer. So, 80. So, 20 into J4 is 80 J. Right? 80 J is 80 at an angle. 90 degrees j is one at an ang angle 90 so 10 into vl1 vl1 is 80 at an angle 90 so 10 into vl1 is 800 at an angle 90 option c okay okay, okay. okay. correct okay. understood this one right this is v7 how to find v7 and this is rl 
determine the load ha huh? what happened yeah. clear sir clear yeah okay determine the load impedance zl that maximizes the average power run from the circuit okay again uh, you need calculator to do this uh, so you can just try to do this uh, as a homework if for a for practice okay you have to find z thevenin and right zl will be equal to z thevenin and uh, conjugate okay same one okay and these are all important problems you see this is again a tricky one assuming both the voltage sources are in phase okay both this voltage 3 volts and 10 volts are in phase uh, <clears throat> 3 volts and 10 volts are in phase the value of r for which maximum power is transferred from circuit a to circuit b this kind of problem is important try to solve it by your own otherwise i'll i'll give you because this needs a bit of calculations and all again it's a good problem as i skip the derivation of the uh, maximum power transfer theorem if we do that this is a good example of it okay good example for maximum power transfer theorem in case of maximum power transfer theorem circuit a to circuit b for maximum power to be transferred the variable here is r okay the variable here is r till now we have seen when <coughs> load resistance is variable okay load resistance is variable finding load uh, the value of load resistance or finding the value of load impedance but this one circuit a to circuit b there are two circuits and there is one variable r to have maximum power to be transferred from circuit a to circuit b find the value of r try to solve it if you don't get the answer ask me I'll, if you don't get it ask me i'll tell you okay so tell me this a non ideal voltage source vs has an internal impedance of zs if a purely resistive load is to be chosen that maximizes the power transfer to the load its value must be option a b c d which one real part think again The, see the source is having vs and zs and load is having only rl okay for maximum power to be transferred rl should be equal to magnitude of zs okay if both are variable as a given you in this what are rest anyhow <clears throat> See if if ZL is variable, then ZL must be equal to Z seven and conjugate or ZS conjugate. Okay, if only RL is variable, RL plus XL. Okay, if the uh, it is having both and RL is variable, then R uh, then also same, right? RL is equal to Z seven and Uh, mod, or only RL is there, then also it is same. RL is equal to modulus of Z theta or magnitude of Z S. Okay, Z S of Z theta. Okay. Find the value of V naught in the circuit below. This is important. <coughs> find the value of v not in the circuit below see uh, i'll uh, let you know the concept behind this problem you need to understand the concept see you have three different sources okay there is a voltage source 5 volts it's a dc voltage source there is an ac voltage source of 10 cos 2t and there is a ac current source of 2 sin 5t okay you have three sources dc source and two different ac sources and their frequency is different okay you can't directly take them so if i want v not or voltage across any element in the circuit you should always remember you should always use superposition theorem this is very important uh, 
for different uh, what you call frequency components for different frequency components you should always use superposition theorem okay so if i using this source you will get the value of v naught you will call it as v naught dash and you'll um, by using only this source you will get v naught double dash okay by using this source you will get v naught triple dash okay and the output v naught will have three components v naught dash plus v naught double dash plus v naught triple dash and all will be of different frequencies okay so v naught dash will be no frequency term or a dc term okay some constant plus uh, using this it will have sine phi t or uh, frequency as phi t okay plus some angle here v naught triple dash will have 2t plus some angle okay so you will have three components of v naught okay e using superposition theorem you should always use superposition theorem for these kind of okay uh, so uh, one doubt sir uh, yeah uh, is it a blunder if we will try to use uh, Laplace transform or something? Yes, yes. You you should not use Laplace transform. You should not use nodal mesh analysis after that. Because these three are of different frequencies. Okay. You can only use Laplace transforms or anything only if they are all of same frequency terms. Okay. I don't think you'll have any advantage of using Laplace transforms. This directly you can take 10 at an angle zero by considering 2t frequency. By considering 2t frequency, you should write Excel. This is also XC. You should write these values considering 2t frequency. After that, using sorry, after that using phi phi t frequency, you should find Excel and XC. You will get different values. For DC, this will be short, this will be open. The capacitor will be open, inductor will be short for DC. So you should use this and find um, the value of phi naught. Okay. 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 Say so again, the value of uh, v in the circuit shown. Find in the reading of voltmeter or find the value of v. Voltmeter reading. You should tell me the reading of voltmeter. Can I say zero? <laughs> yes. See, uh, such circuits, you should always see that it, it's a Wheatstone bridge, right? You should check for balance of Wheatstone bridge. So J by 1 by J is J square, right? Here also. Uh, here also it is 1 by J by j it is 1 by j square the j square is minus 1 j square is minus 1 right so it's equal so bridge is balanced bridge so v is 0 okay one more question or like direct question this is a direct question right so no, no need to do much of calculations Okay, this is again a tricky question. Um, RLC circuit with relevant data is given. I don't think this is important because uh, you, you should understand there is a concept of 3M meter method. Okay, there is a method called 3M meter method. This is important for triple E guys and uh, instrumentation guys. 3M meter and 3 volt meter methods. Okay, this. Uh, these are a bit tricky ones. You should understand the vector diagram and do this kind of problems, okay? And uh, HAL is mostly theoretical. I don't think this is necessary. You have, uh, you'll be having three. We having three ammeters. You see, there is a current source IS, IR, and I see three currents, three currents. Okay, you you have three currents, so this is called three ammeter method. You can use three ammeter method and find the values. Okay, rather this is not a three ammeter method. I'm sorry, this is a direct question. 
So power dissipated in resistor R. So you have Vs here. And IRL is given. IRL is given. This current is also given. Voltage is also given. So you have to find the resistance value R. How to find the value of resistance R here? IRL is given, uh, and voltage is also given. Mm. So uh, find ZRL, yes. right? One by root two at an angle minus pi by four. This one by root two is point seven zero seven at an angle pi by four. So this is it. So you can find R from this. Okay. 0.707 into cos 45, right? You will get 2. R is equal to 2. 0.707 square. R is 2. So, uh, so current is again, current is given as root 2. Root 2 square is 2. 2 square into 2. I square R. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Root 2 square. Root 2 square is 2, 2 into 2, 4. 4 watts. Oh. Did I do a mistake here? Point seven zero seven into cos forty five. What is the value? Point five. Oh, sorry, R is not two, it's, it's one by two. R is one by two. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, point seven zero seven square is one by two. So I square R is root two square into one by two. It is two by two one watt. Option B. <clears throat> okay, option B. Okay. To find IC, IC is nothing but IS plus IRL. Okay. IS plus IRL is sorry, IS minus IRL. I'm sorry root 2 at an angle 45 minus root 2 at an angle minus 45 okay root 2 cos 45 is again we just did it right 0. 0.5 minus j 0. 0.5 minus 0. 0.5 plus j 0. 0.5 right oh sorry this is minus here So this will be 0 0.5, 0 0.5 gets cancelled. J is minus J 0 0.5. So J 1. Oh, sorry, J 1, right? J 2 or J 1. In just a second, it should be Z2. Yes. Root 2 at an angle 45 minus root 2 at an angle minus 5 by 4. Again, did I do the mistake? 1 plus j1 minus 1 minus j1. So again, j2. Uh, pi by 4. Um, okay, okay, okay.
okay this is actually one by this one right that's why it's half one plus j1 correct j2 okay simple calculations okay simple calculations find the voltages across r l and c elements find the voltages across r l and c elements can you do this sir uh, v is given value huh? for r is not given r and l and c okay still still can you do this <clears throat> see this should be something like this uh, this is say for example j x and minus j x c J X L and J X C, so this will be having some voltage drop of J five or this is J four something like this, right? This term is completely imaginary term. Okay, anyhow, I think I missed the values or what? I I'll check it. I think I missed the values. B R is equal to fifteen square minus nine square. Yes, this is how you should do fifteen square. Correct, correct. Fifteen square minus nine square. Square under root is twelve, right? Nine, twelve, and fifteen. V R is twelve. So V L will be root of twenty square minus twelve square. So how we take that value of V R? Just. Ah, uh, V R. See. Again, this is fifteen uh, is given, right? This is my magnitude. Let me call this as magnitude. All these are magnitudes. Fifteen, nine, and twenty volts are magnitudes. Okay, so fifteen, nine, and twenty are magnitudes. But see, if this is between XL and XC, this should be an imaginary one. Okay, it's the total voltage. Tell me what is total voltage? Fifteen is equal to voltage across VR plus J. VL minus VC. This is VL difference VC rather, right? Or V square is equal to VR square plus VL minus VC whole square. This is what the voltage is. Okay. Now I have given that VL minus VC is given as nine volts. Can I find VR now? VL minus VC, right? This is the voltage VL minus VC. Are you able to understand? Hello. Hello. V L my clear right. So from this V R is twelve volts. Now again, if I see between these two, it's V R and V L is twenty volts. So V L will be twenty minus twelve, right? Twenty square minus twelve square under root. Sir, again, again, I have one doubt. Uh mm huh. -hmm. That V L minus V C part. It is okay. Nine volt. Maybe okay. I'm... See, see this. If you see this, tell me uh, what is V? What is V? If I have three. Uh... Okay. This is my source. V. Okay. This is V R. This is V L and V C. What is V? V is equal to V R plus 
J VL minus VC or VL difference VC. Right? These are all complex ones. J VL and J VC minus J VC. Okay. 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 Complex ones. So I know VL minus VC. I know V. Can I find VR? Yeah. Uh, that's what I did. VR is 15 square minus 9 square. 15 is the total. VL minus VC is 9. So it is 12. In VL is 20 square. Again, from here. If you see from here, it is 20 uh, minus uh, 20 vo 12 volts plus uh, some VL square is 20. So VL will be 20 square minus 12 square. It is 16 volts. And VC will be directly 9 minus VL. This is, uh, uh, here this will be arithmetic, right? So 9 minus VL is 16, sorry, 7 volts, okay? Minus 7 volts, rather. VC will be minus, negative, <clears throat> okay? Okay, okay. Again, you can try this, try to do this. Take a screenshot and try to do this. Three voltmeter method and three ammeter method. These problems are of three uh, three voltmeter method. I think that is necessary now because it involves calculations. Okay, so I don't think calculations will be given much. Now the next topic is resonance. Okay, what is the condition in resonance? Resonance is a condition in an RLC circuit in which the capacitive and inductive reactances are equal in magnitude, thereby resulting in purely resistive impedance. Okay, resonance in a, is a condition in an RLC circuit. It happens only in RLC circuits. Okay, uh, L and C elements should uh, always be present. Okay, minimum one L and one C should always be present. So, this is a condition in an RLC circuit in which capacitive and inductive reactances are equal in magnitude okay the uh, equivalent capacitance and equivalent inductance are equal in magnitude thereby resulting in purely resistive impedance the uh, just now we are seeing this problem right <clears throat> what's happening here uh, vl and vc okay if vl is equal to vc this voltage will be zero the circuit will be purely resistive circuit that is nothing but your resonance Okay, here it's not same. Uh, there is a, a nine volt difference. So if VL is equal to VC, what happens to this component? We have just seen VL difference VC is zero, right? So whatever the voltage is uh, applied, it will appear across VR. Okay. Right. Okay. Hmm? What I mean? All right. All right. <clears throat> So that is what a condition in uh, condition called resonance. At a fixed frequency omega naught, L and C elements will exchange energy freely as a function of time. This is important. What happens at uh, resonance? Uh, at fi fixed frequency omega naught, which is the resonant frequency, L and C elements, the energy storing elements, exchange energy freely as a function of time, which results in sinusoidal oscillation either across L and C. L and C elements across L and C elements, you'll have what you call sinusoidal oscillations. That is called as that phenomenon is called as resonance. A network is in resonance when the voltage and current of uh, at the network input terminals are in phase. Okay, what uh, what happens at resonance? Voltage and current will be in phase because it it becomes a purely resistive network. So voltage and current will be in phase. <laughs> Okay, you'll have series resonance as well as uh, parallel resonance. Okay, series resonance as well as par uh, parallel resonance. Series resonance, what happens? This resistance XL will be equal to XC. Okay, the resist the circuit will become purely resistive circuit, and the angle theta will be sorry, angle theta can be uh, I also will have the same angle theta. Okay. So at resonance, what happens? The impedance will be purely resistive. Uh, in other words, the LC series combination acts like a short circuit, and the entire voltage is across R. 
what happens lc series will act as a uh, what you call short circuit because the voltage between these two terminals is zero voltage between these two terminals will be zero what happens zero voltage is a short circuit it acts as uh, in other words lc series connection acts like a short circuit and the entire voltage will appear across r okay the voltage and current are in phase so the power factor is unity okay inductor voltage and capacitor voltage can be much more than the source voltage this is important so this is my vl and vc okay vl is equal to vc but they will be greater than vs okay the voltage across inductor and capacitor are equal and they nullify each other but there is something some phenomenon happens that is called as voltage magnification voltage magnification happens in series resonance circuits this is important voltage magnification happens in series resonance circuits that what happens at uh, voltage magnification or series resonance vl and vc are equal and the value is greater than vs the source voltage value then uh, then what happens there is a phenomenon called as voltage magnification that happens at series resonance okay <clears throat> So these are the important, the voltage and current are in phase. Voltage and current are in phase, that is power factor is unity. And the circuit acts as purely resistive. In other words, LNC series element acts as a short circuit and entire voltage appears across R, okay? <clears throat> so there is something called as Q factor. Q factor is a measure of selectivity or sharpness of a resonant circuit, okay? Q factor is defined as the measure of selectivity or sharpness of a resonance circuit. Okay. So the quality factor of an RLC series circuit is the voltage magnification in the circuited resonance. The quality factor is nothing but the voltage magnification. Okay. Q is equal to BL or VC. B. Okay. PL or VC by V. Okay, this is nothing but your <coughs> Q factor, quality factor. Okay, what is Q? Q is nothing but <coughs> voltage magnification in the circuit. Q is nothing but the voltage magnification in the circuit. Okay, what does Q show? Q is the measure of selectivity. Measure of selectivity. What happens is there will be bandwidth. What happened? Hello. Hello. Able to hear me? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right now. See. Circuits Hello. actually three phase circuits is only for electrical people. That's why I'm directly going for resonance. Okay, so resonance circuits will have something. Hello, able to hear me? Ah, oh, yes, sir. So quality factor or Q factor, it, it uh, is a measure of selectivity. The circuit okay hello 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 this is to omega not by r r one by omega not r c Okay, voltage magnification. That's what I told you. Voltage magnification happens. So, VL is nothing but total voltage into. <clears throat> Total voltage into same impedance by total impedance. Omega L by total impedance at resonance is R. So VL by V is nothing but omega L by R. Or 1 by 
omega naught r c omega l is equal to 1 by omega naught c okay so at resonance what happens xl is equal to xc omega is equal to 1 by omega c okay omega square is equal to 1 by lc or omega is equal to 1 by root lc and this we call it as resonant frequency omega naught omega naught is nothing but 1 by lc or 1 by f naught is nothing but frequency 1 by 2 pi root lc okay okay clear very clear so this is q factor q factor is nothing but omega naught by uh, omega naught l by r omega naught l by r or 1 by omega naught rc Okay, there will be something called as omega 1 and omega 2 is called as half power frequencies. Half power frequencies. Okay, half power frequencies is nothing but this is how your circuit will look like at resonance. This is voltage and frequency omega. This is your omega naught. This is omega one and omega two. This is these are your half power frequencies. Okay, at half power by root two. Okay, p by root two. Okay, power is by root two. So this is what you will call as bandwidth. Bandwidth is omega two minus omega one. Okay, Q factor. What does Q factor shows? Q factor show you the sharpness. If it's the circuit is this way this is the these are the range of frequencies you will select okay these are the range of frequencies you will select so that is what your q factor shows okay so if the bandwidth get uh, reduced uh, this uh, sharpness increase or what? yes yes if bandwidth reduces the sharpness increases okay okay the sharpness increases the peak also will increase okay Okay. In parallel circuits, parallel resonance, if you see parallel resonance, you <clears throat> call this dual network. Okay. It's network. I'll get parallel rlc right this is rlc the dual of it will be r l and c okay this is what i'll get okay dual of it is parallel uh, r network okay Hello. so uh, not as one by Place with C and C with L, you will get again the same one. Okay, parallel resonance circuit it is same. Omega naught is same as the series resonance circuit. Okay. Hello. 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 Again, quality factor Q. Q is in series. It is omega naught L by R. R hello. One hello. Sir. Hello. Are you hear me? Uh, the slides are not properly updating actually. Uh, like it. I, I think there is network seen. problem today. I'm unable to get it properly. Okay, okay. I haven't seen the last slide actually. Something quickly. Okay. Don't. See, the, this one, what I'm saying is, uh, to understand parallel resonance, there is a concept called duality, right? We studied duality. Remember, duality is nothing but uh, dual of a circuit. Okay, okay. okay. So, duality you can apply uh, in many uh, places. See, here you can see this. 
this is my series resonance circuit if i apply duality principle i'll get a parallel circuit okay so parallel resonance circuit what, uh, what i can do if this is my uh, resonant frequency in series circuit okay this is my series circuit resonant frequency what is the dual of it replace l with c and c with l we'll get the same one replace l with c and c with l in this we'll get the same one right right uh, so that is how uh, you'll get uh, the answer so it is same okay it is the same omega not is same in series or parallel parallel resonance circuit omega not is same in series as well as parallel resonant circuits okay if q q of series is this now i want for parallel tell me the dual of this okay what is <clears throat> dual of this omega c c omega c and r is 1 by r this is 1 by r will become r omega not rc right or <laughs> 1 by omega naught. So R is 1, 1 by R. It will be R by omega naught L. Okay, just inverse of this. Just inverse of this. Okay. okay. Understood? Understood. It's omega naught L by R. It's R by omega naught L. It's 1 by omega naught RC. It's omega naught RC. Okay. okay. So you, you can use this concepts of uh, duality instead of directly deriving those everything. Can directly use this concept. Okay. I think I'll, I'll, I'll like to stop it here itself. We'll do some problems in the next class and I'll continue. I'll end it up in the next class. I'll give you some uh, what you call most of it. You'll get only the uh, theoretical problems, not the uh, what you call the pra practical ones. Okay. So in resonance, you'll get many problems. You can do many problems like uh, giving the values of uh, uh, R, L, and C to find the resonant frequency or given the resonant frequency, what should be R, L, or C. You can, you can find it that way, right? You can find Q factors and all. There will be problems in resonance I'll, I'll give you or you'll be given some different circuit like this. Okay, resident can happen at this circuit. Okay, this is called something, uh, this is called as a tank circuit. Okay, R, L, and C. Find the resonant frequency. Okay, how to find the resonant frequency? How to find the resonant frequency of this? Or a circuit like this is given. find the resonant frequency r l and c so you have to find the impedance of these circuits you have to find the impedance of these circuits and equate the imaginary term of impedance to zero equate the imaginary term of impedance or admittance to zero impedance or admittance to zero okay okay what happens that means your imaginary term l and c equivalent l and c of the circuit will be zero then you'll have a purely resistive network and then what you call you will get see again if at this circuit what is the impedance at resonance can you tell what is the impedance at resonance it's not r it should it will be some value uh, including r not directly r here you can say it's directly r or a series circuit it's directly r here it will be different okay Try to solve these kind of problems. You'll get to know this is called as tank circuit. Okay. Try to solve this. Uh, use uh, what you call. Try to find the impedance of it. Okay, impedance of it and solve it. R X L and X C. Try to find the impedance of it or admittance. Y is nothing but y r l plus y c okay one by r plus j x l plus one by minus j x c this is how you have to do it 
equate the imaginary term of this to zero, you will get a condition in omega. Okay, that is your resonance frequency. Okay. 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 So I'm concluding the class for the day. See the next class. Next class will be the last class. And we'll give you some uh, what you call tips also in that. Try to not miss the class. Okay. Okay. Sure, sure. Thanks. Okay, thank you.